People have messaged me asking why Lauren and I weren't on the season six reunion. I wanted to clear the air. First, let me say I love the Love is Blind franchise. That's how I met my wife. I really appreciate that opportunity so much. It's given me this wonderful platform, so I'll be forever grateful for that. Any rumor that I don't like Love is Blind, Netflix, or Kinetic is not true. Lauren and Cameron, the adorable Love is Blind duo, got invited to join the reunion for season six. But guess what? They said nope. Yep, well, other big shots and lovebirds from past seasons showed up to grill the newbies. Our favorite pair was MIA. You know, the OG couple who first got engaged on the show? Fans have been scratching their heads, wondering why they didn't make a comeback. Well, turns out they spilled the beans on why they passed up the chance. Want to know all about this piping hot tea? Well, stay tuned until the end. Despite six seasons of Netflix's Love is Blind, many diehard fans still can't get over the fairy tale romance of Cameron and Lauren Hamilton from the first season. In fact, some of the current cast members have admitted that seeing their success made them want to join the show. So naturally, fans were buzzing with excitement at the thought of seeing them reunite for season six's special episode. But alas, the power couple was a no-show. Now they finally spilled the beans on why they decided to sit this one out. Disappointed viewers were left wondering why Lauren and Cameron skipped the reunion, prompting Cameron to take to social media to explain their decision. He revealed that they respectfully declined the producer's invitation to the special event. Cameron cleared the air via an Instagram video on Friday, March 15th, saying, So many people have messaged me asking why Lauren and I weren't on the season 6 reunion. I wanted to clear the air. First, let me say, I love the Love is Blind franchise. That's how I met my wife. I really appreciate the opportunity so much. It's given me this wonderful platform, so I'll forever be grateful for that. Second, we were invited to the season 6 reunion, and we respectfully declined. We already were booked for a date, and also, I had only watched a few episodes of the show, and I just wasn't motivated to keep watching. And that's no hate to the current cast. I just wasn't into the season. I didn't find those couples that I wanted to root for. Just like everyone else on the show, the Hamiltons started their love journey without seeing each other, chatting away in those pod thingies. But unlike some other Love is Blind pairs who didn't make it, these two tied the knot on day 40 of the TV experiment back in 2018. And guess what? They're still together. Cameron mentioned how they've always been big fans of the Netflix series and truly believe in the whole love experiment idea. However, Cameron also noted that it's obvious now that while there are still contestants who are truly open to getting married, there are others who simply join the show to get famous. I've supported Love is Blind for the last four years, doing press, doing hostings, other activations, and I've been very happy to do that. When it comes to genuineness, I think on every season there are people who are open to getting married and those who want to get famous. And there are people who fall somewhere in the middle. And as for me, of course, I want to see the people who have that true connection, who genuinely want to get married. He also commented on how the drama and the mess of the oh-so-bingeable series has become seemingly more important to producers than the show's romance success stories. What's everyone talking about when they watch this show? It's all the memes, it's all the one-liners, it's about the drama and the mess. Can you really blame the cast for playing into that? And now season six, the cast is well aware of how the show works. I didn't hear anything about the one couple who did get married on this season. It was all about everyone else. But hey, he's not throwing shade at the cast for going along with it. He knows they're smart cookies who understand how the show rolls. Season 6 of Love is Blind served up a bunch of juicy drama this year, but only Amy Cortez and Johnny McIntyre made it down the aisle in the finale. And even though Cameron and Lauren didn't catch up on the latest pod shenanigans, he's still thankful for the show. Love is Blind was just the start for Lauren and me, said the 31-year-old. We're truly grateful for your support over the past four years. It means the world to me. While Cameron and Lauren are among the more successful couples from Love is Blind, there's still more drama to uncover about who made it and who didn't once the camera stopped rolling. Chelsea Blackwell and Jimmy Presnell, not together. Chelsea and Jimmy's roller coaster relationship hit a climax during an amusement park date just before their wedding. Despite attempts to reconcile, Jimmy ended the engagement, citing unresolved issues, including Chelsea revealing his past relationship secret. Chelsea left heartbroken after another argument about their exes. They were single during the March 2024 reunion. Clay Gravesand and Ad Smith, not together. Clay and Ad's relationship hit a snag when Clay backed out of their wedding, citing his own reservations stemming from his father's infidelity. Despite reassurances from Ad, Clay couldn't commit to the altar, claiming that he wasn't ready for marriage. This revelation left Ad devastated, feeling like their relationship was a waste of time. Clay admitted that both financial and emotional concerns contributed to his decision. At the reunion, Clay expressed regret and desire to date Ad again, but she remains non-committal. Ad disclosed that she'd gone on a few dates with co-star Matthew DeLiva after filming, but clarified that they're not together. Amy Cortez and Johnny McIntyre. 
married. The only season six couple who did say yes to forever, Amy and Johnny, who not only celebrated their new beginning with a gorgeous ceremony, but also seamlessly merged their families into one, with Amy's dad sweetly telling Johnny's sister that he feels like he has multiple daughters now. As for Johnny, he too declared at his reception that his father-in-law was his new dad. They were still married during the reunion episode. Brittany Mills and Kenneth Gorham, not together. Brittany and Kenneth's romance lost its spark once they transitioned back to reality. According to Brittany, the intense passion they shared in the pods diminished once they returned home to Charlotte. Despite calling off their engagement, they maintained a strong friendship. Brittany expressed at the reunion that while they're no longer together romantically, their bond will endure indefinitely. Laura Dadisman and Jeremy Latinsky, not together. Laura and Jeremy's engagement went up in flames when Laura discovered Jeremy had reconnected with another podmate, Sarah Ann Vick, during a night out. After their heated confrontation, Laura ended things with Jeremy. Surprisingly, Jeremy chose to spend time with Sarah Ann, going jet skiing with her instead. In the March 2024 reunion, Jeremy disclosed that he had been in an on-again, off-again relationship with Sarah Ann for a year since filming, and now they share a home. Laura, on the other hand, is dating someone new, although she didn't reveal their identity at the reunion. Izzy Zapata Jr. and Stacy Snyder, not together. Season 5's couple faced numerous challenges, including Izzy's earlier connection with Johnny, Maraced, and Stacy's high lifestyle expectations. Despite working through these issues, Stacy didn't overlook Izzy's dishonesty about his credit history, leading her to call off the wedding. Despite this, she still wanted to maintain a relationship with Izzy, although they were at different emotional places. Stacy expressed gratitude to Izzy for helping her open up emotionally, but felt unsure about their future. Izzy, heartbroken, acknowledged the emotional distance between them. Now Izzy is dating surgical assistant Shelby Webb. Milton Johnson and Lydia Gonzalez, still married. Season 5's most unexpected success story emerged from Lydia and Milton's rocky star. Despite Lydia's prior relationship with Milton's pod friend, they persevered, emerging as the only couple still together after the experiment. Lydia expressed her joy at realizing her dream of marriage, feeling content and secure with Milton. Meanwhile, Milton, approaching the decision analytically, concluded that marrying Lydia was the right choice based on all available data points. Paul Peden and Micah Lucier, not together. Opposites attracted for Paul and Micah throughout the season, but their journey hit a roadblock at the altar. Paul's hesitation led him to decline marriage, leaving Micah feeling devastated. Apologizing at the reunion for a previous comment, Paul clarified that he couldn't envision them as parents, not just Micah specifically. Despite a brief reconciliation post-filming, their relationship ultimately couldn't withstand the challenges, ending for good during a visit in Arizona. In After the Altar, Paul revealed that he was dating someone new, Geneva Dunham, who shares his love for travel and cooking. Kwame Apia and Chelsea Griffin, still married. Despite challenges such as Kwame's mother's initial refusal to attend their wedding as his questionable conversations with Micah, with whom he also had a connection in the pods, they exchanged vows along with two other couples. At the reunion, Chelsea shared that she now has met Kwame's mother and Kwame apologized to Chelsea and her family for his behavior, acknowledging that his discussions with Micah were not appropriate. The couple currently resides in Seattle with their cherished dog, Rocky. Zach Gotowski and Bliss Paridizadi, still married. Love took its time to blossom for Zach and Irina, as Zach initially got engaged to Irina but later realized his mistake during the trip to Mexico. After seeking a second chance with Bliss, they defied odds and both said I do with the altar. They even shared a memorable first dance to Leanne Walkman's I Hope You Dance, the song that initially bonded them in the pods. Zach expressed their enduring happiness with a photo on Instagram captured eternal bliss. Their joy expanded in November 2023 when they announced they were expecting their first child together. But which is your favorite Love is Blind couple so far? Let us know in the comments. That's all for today, folks. If you want to keep yourself updated on the latest binge-worthy celebrity gossip, click that subscribe button and notification bell for more videos like this.